In this video, we expand our knowledge of relative pronouns and relative clauses. So, if you haven't already seen our previous video on relative pronouns, we recommend you watch that first. When relative pronouns are used to add descriptive information to a sentence, that information can be considered defining or non-defining. Defining or non-defining basically means essential or non-essential. But how do we know if the information is essential or non-essential? Well, let's see. The man who was wearing a hat was about to fall. In this sentence, who was wearing a hat is considered essential information. It tells the listener that we are specifically referring to the man wearing a hat. Perhaps there are a group of men, and I want to be clear that I mean the one with the hat. If we remove who was wearing a hat, the fundamental meaning of the sentence changes. We are no longer specifically referring to the hat wearing man, we're just referring to the man, which could mean any of those men. This is why in this sentence, who was wearing a hat is considered defining. Now we're going to make a very small change to the punctuation of the sentence. In this sentence, who was wearing a hat has been put inside commas, making it a non-defining relative clause. This means the clause is not essential to the meaning of the sentence. The information in the clause is considered extra. So, if we remove it, the meaning of the sentence doesn't change. It might seem strange that a simple comma can change the meaning of a sentence, but that is the case with defining and non-defining relative clauses. So, what you need to remember is, if the clause is between commas, it's non-defining, and if it's not between commas, it's defining. 